good morning. My name is Burke Creamer. I'm here with Michael Pfeiffer, one of the director of our sports performance programs. And today we're going to do a little frequently asked questions that we get. So, Mike, there's a lot of information out there about what types of cardio are the best and what I should be doing. And I really don't even know where to start. What would you recommend? Well, a lot of times when you're doing cardiovascular exercise, the purpose is to work your heart and your lungs. So anything that's going to allow you to do that is going to work for you. But the biggest thing is to do something that's not uncomfortable and doesn't cause you any pain. You might feel obligated to get in shape that you have to run or you have to swim or you have to go bike. But anything that's going to stimulate your heart and feel good while you're doing it is going to work for you. Good. So what you're saying is basically whatever I enjoy the most or whatever I can get away with doing, for long periods of time would be the best for me? Correct. Now, I've noticed you've upped your game a lot lately. What's been the motivation for that? So I've wanted to get into triathlons, predominantly sprint triathlons, because I'm not a crazy person. But I've been trying to swim more, bike more, run more, row more. I'm getting into adventure races. I just did the Rugged Maniac, which I had a lot of fun doing, and trying to step my own fitness goals up. What would you recommend for somebody who's just starting out, who has not been doing any type of cardio, what kind of time frame would you recommend for them to do? How long? I'd say about 20 minutes of steady state cardio, which in our speak just means the same kind of pace, consistent movement. So not ramping up and down in speed or pace, just staying a nice consistent pace for about 20 minutes to start. So for me, if I've been doing nothing and I consider myself going out for a good 20 minute walk, is that good cardio for me? Yes, that would be a good thing. Make sure that you've got a good pair of shoes that doesn't bother your knees or your ankles when you walk, and make sure that you feel comfortable when you're doing your exercise. Good to know. So there you have it from one of our sports performance directors, Michael Pfeiffer. Any type of cardio that works for you that does not cause pain is going to be the best way to get started out. 